Okay, hello dear students. My name is Teacher Mohamed Andreas uh, from Association of Computer Expert and Educational Development. I'm here to teach you, to guide you on our subject of geography and uh, today we are going to proceed with our topic of climatologies and uh, we shall look at the specific object, uh, uh, object uh, uh, specific uh, 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 sections what is known as, or specific element is what is known as uh, a wind system. Are we together? So today we are going to look about wind system from the climatology topic. So pay attention, this aspect is very important for all students studying geography for all level, I mean for for, for form 5C and uh, form, five, form 5 and form 6 level. Are we together? So today in our lesson we are going to look about uh, uh, we are going to look about uh, uh, to the end of this lesson, every student, I hope that uh, we shall understand the following uh, issues to define wind system. So, I hope that every student at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define what is wind system. Are we together? But the second one, every student should be able to identify wind classification. Are we together? Every student should be able to understand uh, or identify wind uh, classification. Let me translate it in Swahili so as to simplify for all students. In our subject today, tunakwenda kuangalia zaidi nini maana ya wind system lakini pia kuelezea mgawanyo wa wa wind. Tayari eh? Lakini sambamba na hivyo basi nimesema kwamba somo hili ni very muhimu, ni muhimu sana kwa wanafunzi wa form 5 pamoja na form 6 kwa ni masuala yake mengi na kuwajitokeza katika mitihani. Tupo hapa kuweza kusaidiana na kuhakikisha kwamba tunakwenda mbele katika sekta ya elimu. Okay, let us start our lesson today. So now let us start with what is wind. Are we together? Everybody student try to Think in your brain, what is wind? What is wind? Wind or air? What is wind? That is a person. I took care of this. So there are different definitions about wind and it will depend uh, which kind of book you are going to use. So here there is a simple definition about wind. The first one wind is an air is an air in motion is an air in motion from the origin of high pressure to the region of low pressures how together so when we say wind is an emotion of air from the region of high pressure to the region of low pressure I think we discussed the about the pressures in our previous lesson. We discussed the about the pressure. So, if you missed the other lesson, please go and revise about the pressures. So, always wind tend to move from the high pressure region toward the lower pressure region. Why wind move from the high pressure region to the low pressure region? Because there is a need to create a balance to the lower pressure region whereby the amount of temperature is higher so there is a higher possibility for creating balance between uh, the high pressure to the lower pressure belt so always wind tended to move from the high polar region whereby there is higher high pressure toward the subpolar region wherever there is low pressure or toward the equator wherever there is low pressure are we together so Another definition about wind is wind is the movement of air is a movement of air are we together to the surface of the earth are we together movement of air to the surface of the earth are we together either air can move from the uh, subpolar region toward the polar region or can move from the polar region to the, the subpolar region or to the equatorial region are you together so as to create a balance there eh? because uh, it's the equator regions normally the temperature is higher to compare with the polar region so there is needed for movement of air from the high pressure region toward the low pressure region so as to create a balance on that areas are you together Okay, the speed of, of uh, uh, the speed of that wind can be measured by using tools known as anemometers. So we use this instrument 
so as to measure the speed of wind or the speed of wind from one region to another region. Are we together? But anemometer is a device used for measuring wind speed and direction. So as we know that wind can move from north north east toward south south east. Is it? Take example like that. Or can move from the southern region toward the northern region. So which instrument can be help us to measure the direction of wind and the speed of wind that is known as anemometers? Are we together? So let us here look uh, in a uh, uh, pictures about how e, uh, how an anemometer is. This is an example of an anemometers and another one, this one. Are we together? So this instrument are used to measure winds. Okay, by proceedings, now let us look about wind classification. I think everybody have understood what is wind and which instrument used to measure wind. So we have said is that wind is a movement of air from high pressure to the low pressure region so as to create balance to the lower pressure region because the amount of temperature at the lower pressure region tend to be higher. So movement of wind from the high pressure region tend to create balance to the lower pressure region because the amount of temperature in that region is higher and the, uh, the amount of temperature to the higher pressure region is low. But the pressures of the wind is very high, so there is higher needed for creating balance to the lower pressure region. So, but also, let us look about wind classification. So, wind can be classified into two bases. The first base is local winds, and the second one we have interplanetary winds. Local winds, not to any papers are. Uh, Kiswahili chenga tukisa kumani pepo za 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 masafa mafupi. Like interplanetary wind, this will look this wind in term of global. Are we together? So here, let us start with local wind. What is local wind? Local wind. This as wind system. The pepo mfumo pepo operating only in the small area. Ambao unakuwa unaoperate katika eneo dogo. Within all within a short period of time. Manaki ni pepo ambazo zinavuma katika eneo dago kabisa, lakini kwa kipindi kifupi chamda. Are you together? This wind include the following billows. So, hizo pepo zenye ni zipi. So, be careful. We are going to analyze for each, each and everything about this wind. Are you together? So, the first wind is land breezy. Are you together? Sifa ya upepo wa kwanza ambao unavuma katika maeneo madogo na chukua small areas tunasema ni lo, ni low ambao ni local wind tunasema ni land breeze are you together so is a movement of air ni mwenendo wa upepo from the land to the sea movement of air from the land toward the sea are we together so that is land breeze it is occur during the day during the night when the land is cold then the sea are we together? So, land make higher pressure and the sea develop low pressure. Are we together? So, during the night, the amount of pressure is higher. Are we together? But within the ocean, there is low pressure. So, there is possibility, there is needed for movement of air from the land toward the sea. So, as to create balance. Are we together? As we see here, yeah, this our picture here show how the wind is. So, the wind move from these areas where there, there is a vegetation and so on, the people living here, toward the sea. Are we together? So as to create balance to the sea because there is low pressures. Are we together? But another types of wind, we have sea breezy. There is difference between land breezy and the sea breezy. So sea breezy, this is the wind move from the sea toward the land. Are we together? So as to create balance toward the land. Are we together? Okay, it occur during the daytime when the ocean is cold than the land. Basically, during the time the ocean is cold than the land. Due to the, this uh, water body, like ocean, develop high pressure and the land tended to, to create low pressures. So the wind tended to move from the ocean toward the land so as to create balance within the land. So as we see here, this is our picture show how the wind moves. So the wind moves from the ocean toward the land during the noon time. Okay, by proceeding another types uh, of local wind is anabatic wind. Anabatic wind, this means that uh, anabatic wind means moving up 
what? Are we together? Let me translate it in Kiswahili. Anabati kiwindi ni manaki ni kwamba upepo unavuma eh anabati tunasema kwamba anapanda au sio manake upepo unavuma kutoka chini kwa nazo kena juu upward are we together okay so it's it, it's a warm wind which blow up steep slope blowing steep slope up steep slope or it's a wind that blow up from the valley toward the mountainous slope are we together so this wind move from the valley region toward that toward the mountainous region look this picture here this is the sun so the wind move from this region okay sorry so the wind move from this region are we together so move from this region toward the highland so this wind is known as anabatic wind because a zinapanda kwenda za kena juu are we together so this is anabatic wind are we together so but another types of wind is katabatic wind so what is katabatic wind katabatic wind let translate in kiswahili to mean kata manake kuanguka ni sasa na kusema kwamba una mtu ukikata na kuja za kena chini manake ni kwamba pepo zake hapa zinatoka juu zinakuja za kena chini are we together is a movement of air which uh a uh, wind blowing from the highland to the lowland is a movement of wind from the highland to the lowland so sometimes it's called a fell wind that occur during the night at the mountainous areas uh, as you see here they move from the highland to the low to the lowland are we together but uh, apart from that there is uh, another types of wind what is known as monsoon wind what is monsoon wind in kiswahili it means that papers are simo are we together i think all students who studied history this is not a new case for them i say are we together because we remember about the, the the issues of asian traders earlier asian traders between or earlier commercial contract between uh far east middle east and africa are we together so here monsoon wind is a word derived from arabic word are we together which means monsoon which means season season so since they blow seasonally and the most developed in asia like china india in indonesia are we together but there are type, there are two types of monsoon wind the first one we have summer wind second one we have winter wind are we together so how you will define this type of wind this is your homework go and read about tropic of capricorn and the tropic of cancer you will be able to to identify and define the real meaning about monsoon wind and winter wind are we together so this is your homework for your student try to think yourself to define this type of wind and just an and diagram and then you shall send via my contact number so here let us finish our lesson today's uh, by looking homework here so our homework today is explain wind classification based on a uh, local wind are we together i think we discussed today about local wind we discussed about katabatic wind anabatic wind land breeze sea breeze monsoon wind all of these as the example or as an example or as type of local wind that uh, as the type of wind that form local wind are we together so try to think yourself in your brain and then try to explain in detail about this homework and then send it via teacher's email are we together thank you very much so don't miss the next lesson uh next lesson we shall discuss about wind classification system based on interplanetary wind about the issue of uh planetary wind trade wind western wind eastern wind all of this we shall discuss in the next lesson and this i shall discuss about the factors affecting wind thank you very much read your books for more understanding thank you very thank you very much don't miss the next lesson bye 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 teacher muhammad